name is Lucinda Douglas. I am a Cape Coloured. I was born in South Africa in 1970, right smack bang in the middle of apartheid. As you can see, my skin colour is not black and my skin colour isn't white. I'm what you call coloured. And I'm really proud of who I am. People have asked me, so where does your surname come from, Lucinda? You have your surname Douglas? And I said, well, probably slave trade. You know, that's the way it goes. And I've never made an issue, an item of my surname, or I've never gone and dug in my past and figured out who I am, because I know who I am. I am Lucinda Douglas, and I stand for empowerment. What has happened in the past has, of course, had an enormous impact on who I am today. And that is absolutely fantastic. I like being responsible. I like taking this responsibility but nobody else is responsible for the way I came out of the oven, the way I look. I have the responsibility to create something of my life, to make something of it, but I'm not a victim. I am only a victim of my color, my creed, my background, my passport, if I want to be that. And if I, if I make that one with who I am, if I start seeing myself as a victim, then I am the victim. But nobody is victimizing me. You see, we don't even need somebody else in our lives or other people to say things about color, creed and background because we have it here that we are not good enough, that, we, that if things don't work out for us it's because of my color, it's because of my race, because of my ethnic background. But it's not true. If that were true, then I wouldn't be standing here and telling you this. There are major exceptions. Who I, have, who I have become is somebody taking responsibility of everything that happens in my life, of my, my slave background, of anything, of my apartheid, of being abused, of being raped, of being beaten. That is who I have become. And I think if you've lived the life that I've lived in, 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 in some terrible situations and come from a very come from very far you understand how valuable life is and how important it is to take that that you have your talent or your capacities or whatever it is that you too have been given and make something of it but never blame somebody else for that that you don't have I'm afraid that is really stupid why am I sharing this with you what I notice these days I live in Holland and what I notice is that there's a big difference between um, people who have been born here uh, and people who come from a different ethnic background. And people who come from different ethnic backgrounds or dark or, or yellow or green, they often have this opinion that people who were born here, um, that they have it easier. Basically, dark women, black women are saying to me, Lucinda, white women have an easy life. Now that's not true. I work with women. I'm a business coach and I speak about empowerment. and. There's no difference. Women need each other. They don't need to be separated from each other and the one saying to the other, you have a better life. On the contrary, I even think that when you are a dark woman in, in the Netherlands at this moment in time, you might even have it much easier than this, these women who were born here and who are fair-skinned. Because lots, and I'm generalizing, but lots of women who are dark-skinned at this moment in time with a different ethnic background are becoming victims in their own right. They are just being, they want to be treated like victims, or at least they come across to me as though they are just victims. And that is such a pity. Because when you, when you are the victim, you can't take responsibility, you can't take the accountability for your own life. And what happens? You automatically say, the other ones, they are doing it to me. But nobody's doing it to you. You are doing it to yourself. I love living here. I love what I've achieved. And I've achieved it because it's possible to achieve it in a beautiful country. Europe is what you want it to be. Your life is what you want it to be. Do you, how do you look at life? How do you perceive life? How do you look at other people? That determines where you are going to. But I'm so sorry. I see a worldwide trend of victimization. But it's not going to work. You are not going to get further. It doesn't matter whether you come from a war zone, it doesn't matter whether you come from black parents, it doesn't matter where you come from slavery. I've been all part of that. I am part of that. But I'm not the victim. 
And I hope that my message to you is a message of hope. You choose to be the victim, but choose not to be the victim. Choose to be accountable for your life. I hope this inspires you, but it inspires me especially. Thank you for listening, and my name is Lucinda Douglas.